Hey everyone, I'm Ryan, and on this episode of Baking with Ryan, I'm making a double chocolate raspberry cheesecake. This cheesecake is super easy to make, and you don't even have to put it in the oven. It would also be the perfect dessert for Valentine's Day. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. The ingredients you'll need to make the cheesecake are vanilla extract, powdered sugar, cornstarch, sugar, melted butter, white chocolate chips, dark chocolate chips, lime juice, Oreos, raspberries, and heavy cream. Begin by making the crust. Start off by placing the Oreos inside of a food processor. Now, grind up all the Oreos into fine crumbs. Next, pour out these crumbs into a bowl and mix in the melted butter. Once the melted butter is mixed in, pour the Oreo crumbs into a greased springform pan. Now, using a spoon, spread out the crumbs. Finish it off by using the bottom of a glass to compress the crust even more. Set aside the crust while we make the filling. Start by pouring your cream cheese into the bowl of a stand mixer. Then, stir it together for 30 seconds until the cream cheese is smooth. Next, add in the powdered sugar along with vanilla extract and mix until fully combined. Once the mixture is fully combined, scrape down the bowl and let's move on to the next step. In two microwave-safe bowls, add in the semi-sweet chocolate chips and the white chocolate chips. To each bowl, add in heavy cream and microwave them for one minute. Now that the chocolates are melted, set them aside for 10 minutes to cool. In the meantime, make the raspberry coolie. Begin by adding to a saucepan raspberries, sugar, lime juice, and cornstarch. The next step is to turn on the heat and whisk the mixture together. You'll know it's done when the raspberries are broken up and the mixture is bubbling. Now bring the mixture to a bowl and strain out the raspberry seeds. Then pour the raspberry coulis into a squeeze bottle. Unlike I did, you'll want to use a funnel. Now that the chocolate is cooled, add in half of the cheesecake mixture into each bowl. And then mix them together. The next step is to whip up some more heavy cream. You'll want to whip the cream to stiff peaks. The last step is to fold in half of the whipped cream into each of the chocolate mixtures. This is going to make the cheesecake super fluffy. Now assemble the cheesecake. Start by pouring the chocolate cheesecake filling into the pan. Then spread out the filling with an offset spatula. Once this layer is flat, repeat the process using the white chocolate cheesecake batter. And now for the fun part, take the raspberry coulis and pipe a spiral of dots. The final step is to take a toothpick and run it through every dot. This will make all of the dots look like hearts. Before taking the cheesecake out of the pan, you'll want to refrigerate it for at least 4 hours. After 4 hours, run a butter knife around the edges of the pan. This will help loosen the cheesecake. And now you can release the cheesecake out of the pan. All that's left now is to cut a slice and enjoy. Thanks so much for watching, I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below what you want me to make next week.